Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to Let's Play the Maze Game. This is part 5. And I'm betting you guys are wondering, why am I uploading more Maze Game videos? I just uploaded one last night. Well, here's the thing. I don't have very many uh, Super Mario RPG episodes with me right now. And of course I gotta go home and record more since I don't have the best equipment to do it here. So I decided that, you know what, I'm going to do a bunch of maze game videos and maybe I can hopefully get this game out of the way. So then when uh, Christmas break comes along, I can just focus on whatever I have left of the maze game. Uh, I can get a little farther on Super Mario RPG and then I can just focus on uh, Mario Party 4. So that's probably going to be my plan of attack from now on. I think it's a good idea personally. Okay, now get ba let's get back to the maze game, since I'm kind of neglecting to talk about this. Uh, we have a little bit of a block puzzle in this level, as you can see. I s I've solved most of it, for the most part. But, yeah. It's still a puzzle. Um, these next two levels are actually going to be block puzzles as well. Shadow Mario 41 really likes his block puzzles. However, thankfully, these block puzzles aren't too hard. Uh, just make sure before you actually push any rocks, you might want to do a save state just in case. Otherwise, you kind of have to force yourself to die or restart the level, which will get rid of some of your points. Which, by the way, you can't see my points right now because my recording software decided to do that random zoom in thing again. Luckily, it's not as bad this time, but still, I'd rather see the whole screen. Uh, you're not going to miss anything on the lower part of the screen. It cuts out right uh, before the border, so that's pretty good. And uh, from what I've seen in this video so far, it shouldn't cause any major problems, so it'll be fine. So yeah, just these random block puzzles. As I've said, they're not too bad. I'm, I'm hoping I did this correctly. Yeah, I did it fine. You kind of trick out the spider right there. If you uh, get rid of that hole, they'll go. He'll go in that straight line for the rest of the level. And as you can see, we're done with the level now. Okay, here is perhaps the biggest block puzzle you have to deal with. Make sure you follow it exactly like I do. Yeah, that easily took me 20 or so attempts before I realized that, you know what, I should go against the wall somehow because the wall has that giant bunch of gray space that you can just walk along. And then the rest of the level is pretty similar to what you've been doing. One thing I wish I would have uh, looked into when doing this level is that I should have uh, realized that there is no fire extinguisher in this level. So that way at the top is the only way to get that Triforce. So later on I have to backtrack all the way to that little area just to get the Triforce. Hey, this is going to be a 100% uh, run, not counting the bonus stages. No way in hell I'll count those bonus stages. And I neglected to say this in the last video, but the music that's playing right now is the... Well, I know it as the Hyrule Temple music from uh, Smash Brothers Melee. But it's actually um, from uh, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. But... I consider it more of a Hyrule Temple music, since I play Melee like crazy, and I've never played Adventure of Link, so yeah. But the rest of the puzzles are pretty easy, once you get out of that giant block maze. So there's not really anything you need to worry about. Uh, I'm looking ahead at what the music is for the next level. Okay. 
Get it. Let's get back to the maze game. Okay, so as you can see, I'm getting the Triforce right now. Yeah, I wish I would have gotten that earlier. I probably could have saved a lot of time in my video. Because, like last video, I have to do a little uh, turbo mode section at the very end of this recording. Because I did not know I had enough time, and I didn't want <clears throat> to make a 7 minute video, or an 8 minute video, with like 3 minutes to go. So I figure that I'll just, you know, wait. Okay, now it's scrolled in more for some reason. But it quickly goes away in just a second. Okay, see? Back to normal. Uh, first off, this is perfect dark music. And second, we have a new obstacle in the maze game. As you can see, in addition to blue holes, we also have red holes. If you fill up all the red holes, the stone the square stone blocks will disappear. Uh, if you want to know what they look like, uh, find the checkered flag in that. The stone that's blocking the little pathway. That's the stone we're trying to get rid of. And to get rid of that, we need to, of course, uh, fill in the red holes. But before we can do that, we have to collect all the coins. So let's go ahead and do that. Ah getting kind of risky in this video so yeah this is perfect dark music another uh, N64 game that's uh, pretty uh, good from what I hear but I've never played it actually I hear it's one of the best uh, first person shooter games of all time but I was one of those who like grew up with Goldeneye 007 so I'm pretty biased to thinking that's the best first person shooter of all time I'll give Perfect Dark a chance if I ever can. Okay, now we have to get to the flag. But we can't get to the flag since there is no fire extinguisher again. Uh, in the way you would think. So you have to go around the top of the screen to the left side of the screen. So you can fill in the holes that the boulders are blocking. Or not blocking, but... Um, the boulders need to be used to fill in those holes. In my opinion, I think uh, at this part of the maze game is actually when the game is like really, really good. I mean, I, I like these kind of puzzles where you actually have to think about it beforehand. And uh, they'll add in another element in a few other mazes later that's sort of like the same thing, where it gets you really thinking about what you're doing. Yeah, make sure you also follow uh, this level exactly as I am. Because this is another level where you can get stuck in a great number of places. Thankfully, I've only had to do I only had to do one save state uh, load, so I actually got kind of lucky in this uh, time through. But I remember my first time playing this game. I got stuck on this level for a very long time. <clears throat> it's not that the mazes are actually hard. It's just that you you think it's harder than it really is. That's my philosophy on the maze game. It's like... Like, you think you have to do this, like, a bunch of bizarre movements and a bunch of bizarre stone movements and uh, erratic ghost movements and stuff, but really, I mean, it's... It's a lot simpler. It's a lot, it's a lot more simple than you think it is. <clears throat> okay, next I am going to collect some treasure and get some more diamonds. I have no idea why that blue note block is over there. It seems kind of pointless for it to be right there. I guess it was supposed to make the diamond collecting more difficult. But whatever. As you see, there is a fire extinguisher in this level, but before we can get to it, we have to fill in that uh, blue hole. And once you uh, get rid of all the fire, the rest of the level pretty much plays out by itself. Okay, you also have to get the last coin as well. 
See, there is a lot of collecting you need to do for this game. Okay. Move this down here. Okay, uh, we're getting close to the end where I have to start doing the turbo mode, so... Um, okay, here comes the turbo mode, and now... The music actually sounds kind of cool in turbo mode. Okay, so the, lo the rest of the level is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, the last thing you have to do is just push that rock into the, um, the hole, and then the dynamite will become available. Then you can blow up the path to the goal, and then you can just finish the level normally. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I kind of have to cut off a little early as well, in addition to... Um, in addition to turbo mode. So, uh, this is Slim Kirby. See you next time.